In this video, we want to create this info motion graphics for Peter McKinnon by using Vox Style and CapCut. And after all these years, he shared a lots of experience and good memories. I decided to create this short video for him because I know he loves coffee so much. Who doesn't? Let's get started. First, all images should be in PNG format. Import them into CapCut and check the link in the description for files. Start with the background. Free the layers in the modify and make sure the ratio is vertical. Import the grid image on the timeline. Rotate and scale it to fit your shot. Increase duration to 15 seconds. Next, import the noise video on top of the grid. Change the blend mode to multiply. In filter settings, use negative to transform black to white. Now you have a noise effect on the background. Then, duplicate it to fill the timeline. Import a white background between layers. Right click and choose freeze in the edit menu. Delete extra frames and increase duration. After that, put grid layer on top of white background and reduce opacity to 50. Next, import a yellow circle on the timeline and place it at the top of the shot. Duplicate it twice to have three circles in the shot. Position them on the right, left, and bottom. Add images showing the coffee process from top to bottom. Coffee bean, coffee mill, and coffee bag. Connect the images with dotted lines. Add text layers between each image. Delete default text and press the dash key to get a dotted line. Change the color to dark gray. Adjust the font for a thinner line and enable curve control to shape the curve. Adjust the curve and position until you're happy with the view. Duplicate it and put it between other images. For animating, use Type 1 animation. If you want to learn better about which animation is good for line, make sure watch this video in my channel. Then increase duration to get slower and smoother result. And if second line has reverse animation, it's because of curve rotation. So rotate it 180 degree and fix it from here by change strength. Do same process for other line too. Add zoom in animation to the images. Adjust duration for desired speed. Do same process for other layers too. After that move the layers further and make them like stairs. First, yellow circles then a little further images should be visible. After a little pause, second image with yellow layer should come to shot. And then third image come. To make sure the line and circle connect right, we check if they touch. If their animations don't match, we move the layer to left or right. Or, we change animation duration. Duplicate just two circle and line layers for part two of the video. Replace other coffee images with the first ones so we don't redo the animation. Change the size and rotation to fit the circle. Let's take some time to make the beautiful lady to be more beautiful by creating a circle mask to cover her rough edges.
I think it's looking much better now. What do you think, Jimmy? I think heart mask is better. Nobody use that heart mask, Jimmy. Only for Valentine. <laughs> for color grading, lower saturation to achieve a black and white effect, similar to Vox style. Most of the time, Vox Media use black and white for color grading, and they put colorful images near the desaturation images. I saw this style in Death Note intro too. They used black and white for everything, instead of blue sky. Okay, just decrease saturation. You can change light settings too if you want, and then do same process for all images. Add the Doodle Diary effect. Lower filter and texture. Adjust speed as you like. Apply the effect to all image layers. Once you're happy with the composition, make a compound clip of all layers from part 1. Animate it out of the shot, keeping the coffee bag in view. We need two keyframes. One at beginning of layer, at current position. Second keyframe should be at time when coffee bag animation is going to be end. And we move all layers up. But coffee bag should stay in top of shot because I don't want to see bad empty area. Or you can fill it with text if you want. For the second shot, make a compound clip and position it under the first shot. Apply the same animation and keyframes to the beginning and end of layer. When coffee bag animation is going to end, second shot start to pop up. It should be like this. For end of both layers, use slide left animation to move it out of shot. For the ending, Add the logo in the middle of the shot. Add a text layer for Peter McKinnon's name. Use black color and choose a good font like Times. Position it at the top of the owl's head. Use Type 1 animation and adjust duration for a slower type effect. Duplicate text layer and delete all text. Now press space key on your keyboard few time, then scroll to down, turn on the background, then select the second background, create a yellow box for highlighting names, adjust width and height for a thinner box. Place it under the text layer. Remove animation on text box because it won't work on background. If you want to learn how highlight names in CapCut, make sure watch this video on my channel. So, make it compound clip. Use mask, select horizontal, rotate it, and move it to left side. Create a keyframe at the beginning of the layer. Once the text has been typed completely, it should appear in the shot. Then, move it to the right side until the second keyframe is reached. For logo use slide up for in, and for out animations, choose fade out. For text use flutter, and for yellow box, choose fade out animation. Duplicate text and box layer for brand name, and write the brand name, James Coffee. If the yellow box is big, don't uncompound it. Simply enable uniform scale and change the width. For more details, right click and choose show keyframe. Use an ease out three for smoother animation. Repeat this for other layers. Now let's add some extra details. Add a blur effect from the lens part. Create keyframes from zero to 10 or 15 and then back to zero for a slight blur effect at the start. It's like camera focusing effect. Duplicate it and place it on top when it layers is going out of shot. Duplicate the owl logo and place it in the top right and bottom left corners of the shot for a little design. And use fade in and fade out animation for them. For the bottom logo, rotate it 180 degrees to see the wings better. And that's all. This technique lets you make videos like Vox for info or ads. The choice is yours. This is part 3 of the series, and more tutorials in the Vox style are coming soon. If you want a particular tutorial, just leave a comment. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe the channel, and hit bell for new tutorial. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>
Tschüss.